Um, here's a copper foil process. If any of you have never seen the copper foil process, they have these big titanium drums and then they have the big copper solution bath. And basically the copper is plated onto the drum as it turns. Okay, so the faster the drum turns, the thinner the copper. So basically the copper is, is plated onto the drum, it is rolled off into a roll, then it goes through some tr surface treatments, etc. That you know, passivation so it doesn't oxidize, etc. By the time we get it. This is the same type of foil we use to make our core material. It's the same foil that is cut into sheets and sent to the fabricator for outer layer for foil lamination. They're the same foils. So ED foil is electrodeposited. It's the old large tooth, um, shiny copper. HTE is high tensile elongation. Again, that was for, or also known as grade three copper, good for lifted pads. The elongation of the copper was more ductile, so it would move with the, with the resin, the z-axis of the resin. Where the ED copper was much less ductile and it would crack right at the knee or the pad would lift right off the board. Drum side or reverse treat foil. <clears throat> Basically the treatment is on both sides. And then um, these two are virtually the same. And then VLP, you'll have some people call it EVLP or HVLP. This whole class of foils is a little, it's still struggling to get the terminology. One of the reasons is Oak Mitsui, their three micron foil is called VLP. That's their grade name for it. And then you'll have IPC, and some of the guys have a spec for VLP, meaning X amount of tooth, three micron or above. Okay. So what we're right now what we're running is two to two and a half micron for our VLP foil. RTF runs, depending on the manufacturer, four to eight, four to nine microns. And then the shiny foils are all well above that. So this is kind of what it looks like. So this is what the standard HTE, this is the side of the copper that would go into the prepreg or the B stage in order to make the core. This is the side that you would not see once the core is done. Okay. And just depicting it, you know, could be up to 10 microns. Big, large tooth. Um, this is the standard foil. Then if you go into the RTF foil, you can see how it's almost like these were just mowed down a little bit and it's much smoother. It's a different structure altogether. The, the copper structure is different. The etch rates and everything are different. Uh, when they went from this type of foil to this type of foil, it gave you a much cleaner etch. You know, on your foot, on your circuit, you didn't have that large trapezoid anymore. It kind of cut that down a little bit, especially on the finer lines and spaces. So the, the low profile is five to nine microns, okay? And then you get to the HVLP. I mean, you could hardly even see, I mean, right from here with the lights on, you know, it basically looks like there's no tooth at all. And, you know, this is less than five microns. 